go with your parents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it went pretty bad. They told me to get a regular job, we got into an argument, and I told them I never want to see them again. So, <laughs> basically, I might be up Shit's Creek if this whole comedian thing doesn't work out. You know what? Honestly, I had no idea whether you wanted me to or not. What? Of course I wanted you to stay. Great! <laughs> want to follow me on social media um, my instagram is grace flu it's grace as an f l and then it's f l u h grace flu h <laughs> yeah you must be blinded by the lights we came to shine here watch it look daytime in the night we bring the vibes here we full of life, you keep the change, keep the change They hate and say we went and change, I stay the same You must be blinded by the lights you must be blinded. Thank you for joining me on another episode of I Got A Story To Tell uh, Stopping by for our conversation today is multi-talented actress, singer, dancer uh, She's uh, She recently starred in my TV show, award-winning TV show, Uptown Girls My friend Grace Flew Hardy. How's it going, Grace? Hi, um, I'm great. Um, I'm loving the nice weather these days. Yeah, I, like I honestly can't outside. complain. Seasonal depression's ending. I know, it's like 60 outside. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you look nice. You look nice. Thank and I, you. And I appreciate you stopping by and gracing us with your presence, oh, and Grace. Uh, no pun intended. I love that. Nice. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Do you have, uh, you have like a, a celebrity lookalike? Like somebody tell you like... Uh, Okay, so I actually, people tell me I look like a ton of different people. <laughs> you tell me who you think first, and I'll tell you what I've gotten. You're giving uh, Margaret Roby. <gasps> that is the best compliment I have ever gotten. <laughs> Margot Robbie, oh, I strive to be like Margot Robbie. She is just like perfection. Yeah, that's what you're giving me. You're um, Margot Robbie. Some people say I give Anna Ferris. Oh! Yeah, and you I, do. yeah, I feel like um, some like the way I act sometimes, like laugh. give like <laughs> you, gives Anna Ferris. You're very bubbly and goofy. yeah, yeah. Um, I've gotten like if I like sometimes people say Cameron Diaz, but I don't know if I. <laughs> I can see that. I don't know. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, the you know what the first impression I had of you when I first met you, like I mean obviously I casted you in Uptown Girls. Mm -hmm. I was like, she's really nice, like. So Aww. down to earth, so humble. I remember telling my producer that. Like, wow, I was usually people are like very like, I don't know, conceited when they're very talented, like, oh I know what I'm doing, blah blah blah. Whatever, but you know, I be very very talented, very down to earth. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Whoever raised you, good job. My mom. Shout yeah. out to my mom. She She's good job. and my dad, obviously. They both did a great job. <laughs> Amazing. amazing amazing thank you i appreciate that <laughs> so what i want to talk about is how how you how you got so damn talented like what did you go to film school did you were you born that way did you take, take classes growing up um just, yeah uh so like ever since I was little, um, my mom uh, allegedly she says that like before I could talk, I was like you know singing, you know just random gibberish. So um, I I basically was singing right out of the womb, yeah. um, and um, my mom you know she um, did theater and she um, sings as well. So she's like oh you know I'm gonna I'm gonna help her do this you know. Yeah. So um, I remember my mom you know playing the piano and me singing Annie with her. Um, and I was like, oh, this is really fun. And I'm like pretty good at it. And you know, she just um, would help me um, a lot growing up. And uh, when I was, I think about like six, she decided to start a theater camp mm -hmm. um, at our school. Your mom started a theater camp? My mom did. Oh. Um, yeah, so uh, like a theater camp for uh, the young. Right. And I got into that when I was like six and I was like, Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I am obsessed. <laughs> um, I, so I, you know, 
Um, I started doing monologues and like scenes very early on in my life. And um, my mom basically started um, the theater program at my school from like mm. the bottom up. And she just made it so amazing. And honestly, like it was um, because she wanted to help me. And right. like it started with wanting to help me, but then it grew into something so much more than me because um, she just did an amazing job with the program. And um, I got a lot of my training, mostly, honestly, from her. And um, as for singing, um, my chorus teacher um, helped me a lot out with that. Right. Shout out to uh, Sammy Logan. I love you. Sammy still. Logan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, best chorus teacher I could ever ask for. Um, and, you know, he helped me um, grow my love for music as well. Amazing. I met your mom once. She's really cool. My Very mom? Supportive. At the premiere, I met her. She's yeah. Really cool. Very supportive. I love my mom and my dad. I, I keep forgetting about my dad. My dad's amazing too, guys. I swear. Don't forget about the dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people forget about dads. Right? right? Yeah. But I mean, I just talk about my mom because, you know, she's like in the industry and she's the one who like trained me. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. So for the people who don't know you, who is Grace Fluhart? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to figure out that question as well. Yeah. I am, so I just graduated from college. Um, I was, uh, I went to Marymount Manhattan College. I graduated with a BFA in musical theater. Um, yeah, so I, I did, uh, um, you know, singing, dancing, acting for four years and I just got out of it. And now, you know, I'm on the grind, um, mm -hmm. auditioning um, while also, you know, having a full-time job as well which is not yeah. easy <laughs> yeah. um you know it's it's hard to juggle everything for sure yeah i understand that same but what did you have a were you how long have you been living in new york city uh four years four years yeah so i moved here when i was 18, 18 yeah. um which i think about it's like crazy but um yeah so because i i went to college here 23 now so yeah four years yeah what is what is the craziest thing you've seen in New York? Like, what is it? Oh, my God. You see, I mean, I see crazy things literally every, every day. day. Especially, you know, I work in the Upper East Side in, um, as a server. Yeah. You see some crazy Upper East Side people, uh, like, all the time. Um, I feel like the crazy, like, you mostly just see crazy people. It's like yeah, the crazy. people here yeah. that are crazy. Um, and you also meet really cool people and really well connected people. Mm. Um, it's it's insane how many different people you'll meet just going on like a night out on the town. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Meet people from all over the world. Right? Yeah, I have this crazy story. <laughs> actually, um, this one time I was I just remember I was serving and I was like really down bad. I served with my best friend, right. and she's like. Um, like I was going through like kind of a rough patch with like uh, a roommate situation and um, I, I basically like had $75 in my bank account mm -hmm. and um, I it's it's like a long story but I basically was just like had no money and it was a really bad situation and my friends like let's just go out tonight and like I'm gonna you know like drinks on me I'm like whatever cool so like we show up to this like local bar that we go to like all the time right. and we meet these two like guys like older guys and like my friend starts talking to them i'm like okay um if you guys like want to drink with us you can come in like i just need a drink now so we go in i basically like end up telling them my whole like sob story with like my roommate and everything and he like he like looks at me he's like how can i make this better and like i was like i, I don't know he's like can i give you like money and i was like i'm not gonna say no so he venmos me 700 dollars what a Venmo random me. stranger just he venmoed me 700 dollars, and i literally will never forget that feeling that like manifestation is real <laughs> that's <laughs> like, insane what is that the craziest thing you've ever heard did he expect to uh, no <laughs> get anything he didn't get anything <laughs> i said thank you bye-bye <laughs> that's insane i know but like me and my, my friends like my friend's like, why didn't I get seven hundred dollars? I'm like, I don't know. You got to go talk to him. This happened in Manhattan. Yeah, this literally happens. I like the bar that I go to like all the time. Yeah, like right next to my work. Um, 
That's wild. That's a wild story. I, I, I want that story to happen again. Yeah. Uh, I need that to happen again. I'm uh, manifesting it. I don't know. <laughs> This guy, man. I mean, there are there are a lot of rich people in New York City, so. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, so, you know, take us back to your early days and take us back to, like, to the moment you figured out, like, you wanted to be in, in the entertainment business. Like, the moment you caught the act, acting bug. Oh, my God. Like, so early on. I mean, for me, it, like, first derived from, like, Hannah, watching Hannah Montana. Yeah. Um... She's the blueprint for me. Um, like I, because like when people would be like, "What do you want to be when you grow up, Grace?" I was like, "A rock star." Like that's what I want to be. Mm. Um, and I don't think I actually wanted to be like a rock star. I just think I wanted, you know, to be singing and acting, like yeah, very, performer. Yeah, like a performer. Um, so yeah, my m like everywhere I went, like my mom would be like, "You have to sing, Grace. You have to sing for everyone." Mm. And I was like no mom i don't want to and then like she'd be like too bad you're you're gonna um so like i would sing basically like everywhere i went um and yeah uh she just kind of like helped me kind of get that muscle memory of just like performing everywhere i went um and then when i realized that like musical theater was the thing yeah. i was like oh game over game i over. love this i love mama mia uh, and Wicked were like the first two shows that made me realize like I I need Love to do Mama this. Mia. I need to do this. I remember um, for fifth grade for my birthday, my mom got me like the CD for Wicked, and she uh, we would listen to it every single day. And I was like, I want to be Glinda. Mm -hmm. I have to be Glinda one day. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my mom's like, You will be Glinda one day. Like yeah. it's gonna happen, and we're gonna see um, the show for your birthday in a couple months and I was like oh my god I'm so excited and I remember like being in the audience and like staring at my mom and I was like mom I'm gonna pass out right now and I'm gonna miss the show mm -hmm. I am actually terrified like <laughs> like I'm gonna miss the show and she's like you're not gonna miss it and I I didn't and I ended up sobbing and I was like yeah that's that's what I have to do I, I love it yeah so you, you started off in theater right oh yeah sort of. mm -hmm. what made you branch off into like doing film it's so funny. I um, so obviously I went to uh, I was in college during COVID days, um, mm -hmm. and so we were my acting classes were on ca like camera basically like on Zoom, and I kind of fell in love with the subtlety and nuances of you know acting through a screen instead, and I was like, I feel like I could totally do this, mm -hmm. you know, and I I did like a. Um, a playwriting project um that was like on zoom and i watched myself back and i was like i feel like i have like a pretty good like knack for film and i want to mm -hmm. like get into that um more as well because i've always loved tv um i'm obsessed with tv and i would like die to just be in a okay. tv show or like a like a sitcom yeah um me too i, lo I love sitcoms that's why i, I kind of created uptown girls because yeah. i love like the the sitcom the format and everything and perfect segue speaking of tv mm -hmm. you recently started in a tv show written by myself yes um, and directed by myself mm -hmm. talk about talk about can you tell me like your experience um on set and um what did you learn from your first tv main main character tv role yeah in that show so that was one of my first experiences in tv ever yeah. Um, and you know, that environment that you and Caitlin and T and everyone created was just a very safe, comfortable, um, environment, um, for me to play and be mm -hmm. creative. Um, I really found confidence in myself as an actor during that. Um, I also just felt so taken care of, like <laughs> all of the time, um, whether like, like with food, like you guys were always, you know, providing with that. And it, it was just a really nice, um, environment but i really love that part um mm -hmm. lauren uh she's very close to my heart um <laughs> and what i one of the biggest things i learned um was to you know obviously study the script and the structure of it mm -hmm. but also leave room to play and leave room to improvise um you know we did like me sophie and um 
autumn. 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 We, yeah. um, you know, we had a lot of imp- improv- improvising moments, which mm. was so fun to yeah. play with. They're both so extremely talented and i was felt so lucky to be able to work mm-hmm. with them you know yeah i was extreme extremely lucky i was extremely lucky to work with mm-hmm. like such talented group of actors because you know being an independent film film production you know you don't have a lot of money you don't have a lot, have a lot of time mm-hmm. so we have to be like, you have to be cerebral in every every approach because you don't like you don't have a lot of room for error you know what i mean yeah so that's why we rehearse rehearse like even before we shot and even when we st- we started like we we did it like like clockwork you know what i mean because we don't have uh, the luxury of being like oh let's let's reshoot it tomorrow oh yeah we're doing all these things like that um so i was extremely extremely lucky to work with a, uh, an amazing group of actors and producers and and um caitlin she was she's amazing she helped out a lot Cause oh, I was yeah. doing a, a lot, writing, producing, directing, editing, mm-hmm. um, doing everything. Um, so, you know, um, so Lauren Kennedy, tell us about your character, mm-hmm. Lauren Kennedy. Lauren Kennedy. Yeah. Oh, such a lovely character. <laughs> um, you know, she is, uh, she is a very bubbly, happy, sunshiny Most person. like yourself, right? Yeah. Exactly like that. Yeah, I <laughs> took a lot of myself um, and put her into Lauren, uh, which kind of made her a bit easier, you know. But um, she's super spoiled. Um, she's a bit, you, you know, a little ignorant and naive. Um, yeah. And that's what makes the story so great because she has, um, you know, two friends that <sighs> brings her back to reality. Yeah. She's very unaware of what's going around on around her. Um, but, you know. She's just such a fun character. Um, I I love Lauren. Yeah. So one of the things that uh, that really amazed me was how well you were able to just snap into that character. Um, even though we had we didn't have a lot of time, mm-hmm. you were able to to take the advice that I gave you in such little time, and you were able to bring the character to life, which was amazing. Um, what 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 do you have a technique or do you have anything that you that you learn from your your film days that helped you go into that zone like wh- mm-hmm. how did you go into that zone um your own strategy whatever yeah well you know i gained a lot of um my inspiration for this role from l woods uh, reese witherspoon um i can see that and i you know i also i played l woods in the Legally Blonde, the musical one. Mm-hmm. So I kind of feel like I have played us part very similarly um, to this role before. So that definitely helped me kind of like be able to snap into it, you know, mm-hmm. because I would do it on like before stage all the time when I was doing that show. Um, and also for me, the way I act is I I really try to put myself in the moment. Um, and by being like... I try to be super present and by making that easier for myself, I mm-hmm. study the script. I, you know, I, I use a lot of like um, what I have in front of me in order to um, help my process. You know, all the given circumstances, like what is her past? What has she been dealt in life? How does that, exactly. you know, make her react to what other people say? Like, what does she not understand about the world? Mm-hmm. Um which is a lot. So that kind of made it um, easy to kind of get into her mind, exactly. if that makes sense. Yeah, perfect sense. I know I talk to a lot of actors and some of them say that like, oh, they 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 think about things they've been through or um, dig up things from their past that maybe hurt them or things that made them happy. And they kind of translate that into the character. Um, is that something that you that you do yourself? Is that kind of your process? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One hundred percent. I mean, like specifically for Lauren, you know, she grew up super spoiled um, and she, you know, was kind of given everything she could have ever had. Exactly. So it's like when she's it's like you, she doesn't understand hardships. It's like, what? <laughs> like, exactly. what do you mean? I can't have that. Yeah. So um, I kind of like led with that kind of mindset at all times. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And um like I remember, like having the premiere and everything, and then then your mom she showed up and she was supporting you. Mm-hmm. 
what role did you has your mother played in your life and what is something that she what is something she taught you that you still keep keep near and dear to your heart oh my god literally everything ever everything everything, everything. ever i facetime my mom every single day mm -hmm. um and she is one of the biggest things that i learned from my mom is um the power of energy and the power that we energy. as humans hold mm -hmm. um one thing she one visual she always told me is like if you walk into a room um remember that to glow from within because people can feel that mm -hmm. um and i feel like that is um you know people are attracted to energy and that presence um and that one that's one of the things that she's told me that you know like i think about that wherever i go mm -hmm. or i try to you know um she always tells me to keep that positivity um my mom believes in me more than anyone else in the world believes in me um my dad don't worry about <laughs> <the> dad <laughs> leaving the dad dad out. believes in me too i swear <laughs> but my mom's just very the way my mom talks is very inspirational yeah um and I feel like, you know, in order to succeed in this industry, you need to be able to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, she has taught me that, like, she has genuinely convinced me that I will succeed in this industry, yeah. which in return makes me believe that I will. And that type of mindset is so important in order to face the rejections, mm -hmm. you know? Um, it's Constant, just like, yeah. it's, I mean, it's almost like, I don't know. It's almost like a, I, one of the things I always say is like, in order to be famous, you have to be a little bit delusional. You have to be, in, <laughs> you have to be insane. You have to be delusional. You have to be, and especially I, to be a filmmaker, you have to be yeah, really insane. Yeah. And I, I hold those delusions near and dear to my heart, yeah. but my mom, my mom makes me believe them. And um, I'm just, I'm so lucky to have her, you know, cheering me on all the time. And also my dad. The, the other dad. I, no, my dad is great. I love him. <laughs> my dad, you know what? My dad helps me a lot with my comedy in theater. Yeah. Dad, I know you're watching this. He definitely, he helps me with my comedic timing for sure. Yeah, you're very He's a hilarious. funny guy. You, you're very hilarious. Speaking of energy, Thank I remember you. like when we had the, the Zoom audition, your know, energy just like burst out of off the off the screen and i was like oh that's that is definitely lauren man oh thank you incredible <laughs> like your energy and your aura is very it, very it helps you a lot and um and i was excited to have you on um, thank you i appreciate that <laughs> yeah so much fun so much fun hopefully we can continue to do the rest of the season things like that you i know, hope so yeah, i hope good. so yeah, yeah we will um yeah we're premiering the pilot like in a few months i mean uh, in a few weeks so that's so, so exciting on youtube so on youtube yeah all right well check it out people uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you um are you involved in any other projects mm. whether that be theater whatever yeah. film another what, what have you done recently yeah um recently i just finished a feature film Ooh. Um, which was really fun. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, a pretty pretty good role in that, which I which was really fun experience to yeah. Can you tell us about the role or the role? Yeah. Um yeah, so um her name is Sylvie. Um and she's a bit of a complex character. Right. Um she kind of uses men for money. Um and you know, she tries to like kind of like get a relationship with this guy because he's rich but in return she ends up realizing that she's better than settling for something like that and she actually does want a real connection mm -hmm. um that's kind of like in summary that character um so that was really fun to get into the mind of that um right now i'm also in um a little play festival Ooh. Um, at a, as a is that in New, here in New York yeah, City? Yeah, in Queens. In Queens um, yeah. I'm playing a British girl. Um, it's really fun. You have a British accent. I do have a bit of a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's very good, but that one was really bad. I got nervous, so yeah. I, I messed that one up. But um, you can do better. Try it again. No, I don't want British to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just well, Maybe fun. you have to come to Queens to see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm doing that right now and then i you know i just have like a couple of like 
cabaret shows where I'm singing here and there coming up, um, which is fun, exciting as well. Yeah, exciting things. All right, even though, like, you know, being an actor has its perks and it's fun and things like that, can mm-hmm. you talk about some of the challenges you face with, you know, being on your grind, you know, every day as an actor, anything, any difficulties you you have, you had to overcome, mm. anything like that on your, on your journey? Yeah, I mean, post-grad, whew, everything's... It's really rough. It's really hard finding your routine post grad. Yeah. Um, you know, especially like when um, you're in a program where it's like you wake up at 8 a.m., you dance, and then you go to class, and then you go to voice lesson, and then you do this, blah blah blah. It's um, it's hard to like go from like going nonstop to nothing and trying to find your own routine, which I personally have been struggling a little bit with. Um, it's really hard to. Um, have a full-time job like serving Mm -hmm. and also be auditioning it's really (laughs) hard um, to you know because like for example this week um, I put a lot of my effort into like my passion and like doing this and um, I have a few auditions and I had a few shows but then like in return I haven't been working as much so it's like oh I gotta pay the bills yeah give or take but but then if I'm working just only yeah. working i'm like this is not what i'm supposed yeah. to be doing when you're not working you're not creating when you're not creating you're not working making money yeah, so yeah that's uh, that's like the dilemma of every artist it's it's terrible yeah. and um i can only hope for you know more opportunities i mean one can only hope mm-hmm. um and yeah i mean honestly like at this point i'm just gonna make a tv show out of working as a server because the stories and I, the stories I have from mm. working in the industry are just, they're just too funny. I feel like I'm living a sitcom every day. Exactly. Do you, <laughs> yeah. Can you share some of the, one of those stories? Oh, oh, sure. I mean, like, for example, like, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is like a small one. Like, it's like, you know, you're trying to keep your happiness. It's like, okay, like, I did work a double yesterday. I have to wake up at like 9 a.m. 9 today, but I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be a happy girl and go into work, and this is going to be awesome. Do it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, like, I walk to work. I'm listening to my music. I'm like, the sun is shining. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I get into work, and I'm like, okay, it's a little busy. I'm getting a little stressed. People are getting stressed, but it's fine. I'm happy. I And I, um, you know, I walk outside to get a, a breath of air. And I literally, like, at, like in a sitcom, I say to myself, I'm like, what a beautiful day. <laughs> and this old, decrepit lady. Your life is a sitcom. Yes. <laughs> this old, decrepit lady walks out of nowhere and she goes, don't worry, it's going to change tomorrow. I'm like, are you kidding? You uh, just had to, <laughs> you just had to ruin my great attitude. <laughs> I was like, that was so upsetting. Um, then the other day, like, um, this lady just handed me, like, a like a plate full of throw up. What? <laughs> Dude, That's insane. No, like she like, handed you a like she 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 puked in the like her kid threw up in a plate and, she and then she like, goes Here. she just she walks up to me and she goes like I'm really sorry mm. and I was like oh, that's okay and then I just grabbed the throw up and I like threw it mm. away. Um, yeah, well, life is a sitcom. It really. Like, I mean, like there was like this. One of our bartenders had like a breakdown the other day, mm-hmm. um, and like was like cussing everyone out and like he's gonna see this. <laughs> he's always gonna see this for <laughs> sure. He was like cussing everyone out. I'm like trying to like serve my rigatoni. The cops had to show up because he wouldn't leave the premises. Like mm-hmm. while this is all happening, we're playing like our little Italian music, and it's just like it's not real life. Yeah, like I, I I genuinely don't see it as real life anymore. Can't be. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Um, sorry. What do you What do you think people would be surprised to learn about Grace? What What do people not know about you, right? Uh, um. What would uh, they be surprised to learn about you? Uh, that <laughs> that I'm a beach girl. Beach girl. I'm a beach girl. Oh. I maybe that's something maybe not everyone knows. I um I'm from Virginia Beach. Mm, so born and raised Virginia. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So mm. I I grew up going to the beach like every single day. I miss it. Yeah. I love it. 
Um, I didn't get to go home at all last summer because I was on a contract. So I'm I'm excited to to go home to the beach this year. Mm -hmm. um, that's one thing. Um, you know, there's yeah. a beach in New York too, right? Yeah. It's so dirty, I don't right? like that one. <laughs> <laughs> dirty, right? Yeah. I went to Rockaway. You been to once. Coney Island. I haven't. I not can't get now. myself to do it. Why not? I'm too afraid. Why? What are you afraid of? Like, it's gross. And I feel like I'm just going to go and yeah. be sad and then be like, I want to be in Virginia Beach instead. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. It but is. I'm probably going to go. Like, you know, most things in New York is pretty dirty. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I need to I need to experience Coney Island. But um, I went to Rockaway last year. And it, I actually liked it. It was fun. Rockaway? Yeah. What beach? Have you been to every beach or in New York City? Or? No. No. I've only been to Rockaway in, in New York City. That's amazing. So you're ready to go back to Virginia Beach, the clean beach. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's not like the cleanliest in the whole world, but it's yeah, definitely really. cleaner than here. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'm excited to go back, but I also like love living here like so much better. I get I got so bored at home. Mm hmm. You know, yeah, I so love much action in New York City. I, I love the action. But, yeah. you know, sometimes it's like one th I, I always say, like, if you live in New York City, you have got to take vacations. Yeah, because, you it's know, when you're here, your mind is always going. Yeah, everything's always happening around it's you. Chaos. That that energy is just like. Yeah. Swimming. It's so crazy because, like, when I go to a peaceful place, it's almost weird to be in a peaceful place. I'm like, hmm. There's no noise. Oh, yeah. There's, there's I will never forget the first time I went home after like during college, yeah. like after living here. And I was like, like I was I was like terrified. Like I felt like queasy from like the silence yeah. in Virginia Beach. I was like, why isn't anything happening? <laughs> <laughs> why is anything exploding? Right. Yeah, <laughs> no sirens. yeah I'm from I'm from down south. And like when I go home and it's, it's like and it's so quiet and laid back and I'm like. This is, this is weird, right? Yeah. I grew even though I grew up, you know, down south, and when I go back home, I'm so used to like the noise and the and the chaos, and I'm just like, silence is weird because something's always happening in the city. It's so I mean? true. It's so true. It's always something. Um, so what is what is Grace like outside of acting? When you're not when you're not acting or auditioning, what? How do you? How do you, what do you do to keep yourself happy? What are you doing? Are you um, reading? Um, I, drawing? I, you know, honestly, I have to say my, my, I just hang out with my friends and my friends are what keep me going. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like I, I love going out to eat with my friends and just talking. Um, and yeah, no, honestly, like we love watching TV shows together, kind of like analyzing movies and all mm -hmm. of that. Like I just love um hanging out with my girls <laughs> mm -hmm. that's one of the biggest things i do if yeah, i'm not yeah. you know working all the time or yeah. i love to go on walks in the park i live really long close walks to on the beach long walks <laughs> on the i like long walks on the beach no yeah i live super close to the park so i try to go there just to kind of like calm my body <laughs> mm -hmm. it's very therapeutic what do you said you liked what um what shows are you into Oh what God! Movies? You analyze movies, right? What, what, um, what shows are you into? Yeah, what shows am I into right now? Oh my goodness! Um, I've been watching like it's really funny actually. I've been watching so many sitcoms recently. Mm. Um, like I just finished Girls, um, which oh, I, I love that. Loved it. I loved the, it. The I pilot. Was, the pilot was dope. It, the, I saw everything the first season. About it. Yeah, it was dope. I just I loved Girls. Yeah. Like. I could analyze those characters for days, for days. Um, and so then I kind of got on this like sitcom wave and I was like, kind of want to like study all of this and really, mm -hmm. you know, immerse myself in like the different types of sitcoms. Um, so I started watching some Broad City, which was um, good as well. Dope. Um, yeah, uh, is that, that one's interesting. I, I love it though, it's funny. And then I started rewatching Modern Family just for the heck of it. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been watching all of those. Um, what are some of my favorite TV shows? Have you seen Barry? That's that's a show I just got into. It's no, incredible. I haven't. Barry. Uh uh. It's hilarious. You will love it because this is about it has like theater stuff in oh, it. Oh so really? Basically, there's an assassin, right? This assassin he has he has a um a target who's a, who's like a 
a theater like a theater major like no he's like a he does he's an actor like a theater actor yeah so, so his target is a theater like a theater actor and while he's trying to to kill the the target whatever he winds up catching the acting bug so he, he's torn <gasps> oh, between the, the life of being a murderer and an artist um so that it, is so good wait who, who's that starring again is it oh, um my goodness. bill the hater guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, the yes. guy from SNL. Yes, the guy from it's incredible. Like I'm on, like, I watched, I binge watched the whole, well, everything but the last season. I think there's like four seasons. I binge watched all of it except the last one, and it's amazing. It's like he falls in love with like the theater, and like he's a he's a like a killer, a trained killer, but he's also a thespian, which That's is like <laughs> hilarious. Speaking of killers, I just watched um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the mm -hmm. t the TV the new series. one or like the the TV series. There's a new one that just yes with like Donald. Uh, Glover. Glover. Yeah, yeah. And I think Maya, I, I don't know how to say her last name. I think it's Urshan or something. Something Ursh, but Ursh, 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 I, or yeah. I don't know. Oh my God. But, yeah, it was so good. That, yeah, that, oh, that's amazing. It was fabulous. I love that the actress Maya as well. She did Pen 15. Have you seen that? Pen, no, I haven't seen that. So uh, crazy. Uh, so good. That's, I heard somebody else uh, mention that, that that was really good. Mm -hmm. I definitely got to check that out. It's hilarious. If there was like. A, a, a role, an acting role, anywhere, like past or present. But what, what would it be like if you could play one role? If I could play one role, <laughs> um, I would want to play Cassie in Euphoria. I think. Cassie, oh, why? Like you're such a bubbly person. I it's know. A that's why. Character. That's why I want to get into her mind. Yeah. It's really interesting. Like. I definitely like the bubbly characters come super easy to me. Yeah, that's your natural. Because that's who I am. Aura, yeah. So I don't like. I want more of like the the challenge of getting the like the deeper roles as well. Mm -hmm. um, like I just watched Saltburn. Did you see that? Saltburn. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. Well, I really want to play Venetia, which is like a crazy, like out of pocket thing to say. Venetia. <laughs> like, Who's Venetia? I never haven't heard of that show. It, well, it's Saltburn is Salt. like the character Venetia oh, in okay, it, okay, okay. and it's just like I would love to play those kind of like I've always kind of wanted to play like a bit of a crazy bitch. Yeah, I would love that. I like or just even play. <coughs> um, I would love to be in like a horror movie. Um, like Anna Ferris or like the actually uh, real horror. Both, but like I like I really do like like uh, real horror mm -hmm. as well. I just think that would be super fun. Um, but yeah, uh, but I feel like a lot of the characters that I play, um, like I would play any any kind of like Cameron Diaz in the nineties. Mm -hmm like movies like something like that or like reese witherspoon i love amanda seyfried's um career i love um uh rachel mcadams rachel. Yeah, yeah, yeah i love her career cindy sweeney's career is amazing right now um kind of like all of those types of um mm -hmm. roles i love you see your, yourself more so sticking with uh film or like do you see yourself venturing like back into theater i i i felt myself veering more towards film recently mm -hmm. um i just really like it i love it um but obviously like i still audition for musical theater that's my roots mm -hmm. i i feel like i i want to end up in film though yeah and then i you know i can always be like brb gonna be on broadway real quick yeah <laughs> Have your hand and everything. Yeah, people. I, I'm jealous of like like actors who do that. They, they have an amazing film so career, and they're like, oh, let me just go this do this so this good. this play this this Broadway play. And that's more um, common these days, you yeah. know, because the the economy on Broadway is just sh not good right now. Yeah. Um. So they need to bring, you know, more people from film and more television, stars. like stars, to like get more traction. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Do you know the summer I turned pretty? The summer I turned pretty. Yeah. Yes, Lola Tung. Lola, yeah. And she's now on um playing Eurydice mm -hmm. on Hades Town. Mm -hmm. Like that. That's my dream right there. That's you. I see that. I can. I can definitely see that. Like Ugh. theater will always. That's why I started. I started in theater. Right. Theater will always have a, like a 
a sp- special place in my heart, man. Oh yeah, oh That's yeah. I, started. I mean, they're they're so different. Yeah, they're so different. Just mi- miss just hearing the audience actually laugh. Mm-hmm. The energy like is completely different. The energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I love film. It's just like you know, cut. You know, it's it's just you don't have you don't get that audience reaction. Yeah. Um, that you do in theater, but yeah. Mm-hmm. For oh, sure. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you for watching another episode of I Got a Story to Tell. I appreciate you tuning in. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and Grace. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more information. Please follow the the up uptown girls. Follow I Got a Story to Tell on social media. And yeah. Boo y'all. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Grace. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. This was so fun. So much fun. (laughs) Yeah. You must be blinded by the lights. We came to shine here. Also follow Uptown Girls. Yeah, Uptown Girls. On um, Instagram. Uh, See our pilot coming up soon. Um, D'Angelo did an amazing job with all of it. Um, it, I, I'm I'm amazed with how it turned out, honestly. Man. You guys, it, it was chaos, but for what it did turn out. Yeah, mm-hmm. you guys did an amazing it, it job. It won a lot of awards, so man, we're gonna premiere it to people, so we can get you know, funding. Yeah. Um, Keep the ball rolling. You know, yeah, I'm manifesting for a uh, whole season one, um, just so I can, you know, kind of get more into Lauren Kennedy's mind and everything, and see that transformation. You know, it would be interesting to see how her mind shifts more once she understands reality in a, a bigger sense. You know, like her world is so small right now. It's like, how 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 is she gonna get deeper? Like, what is she gonna learn? How is her comedy gonna get better from that? Yeah, you know, I'm still I'm still writing. I have so many so many things to get into. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. I see the universe is on our side. Yeah, we gotta we gotta manifest. Manifest. I I'm yeah. I'm using my my witchery on it. Yeah. <laughs> my mom is too. We had some faith that who gon' hurt this? I'm not a night you lullaby. I'm doing me is do it.